So we have a project called QForm uh, and you know, uh, the, using QForm, it's kind of really what it is. Like if you are using Terraform today, so any Terraform resource that you can generate, we have a corresponding uh, Kubernetes CRD. And when you apply that CRD, uh, the Terraform, uh, you know, uh, underlying the Terraform provider SDK, we are not doing Terraform apply or command line interface, but underlying Terraform SDK is used to provision these resources. Now, this has been, you know, uh, available for some time. Uh, uh, now, what we are looking to, do, uh, the current work that has been ongoing is that Terraform module support. Uh, I think we talked about this, uh, particularly in the last QForm uh, webinar, I think around that like a month ago. Uh, so, so supporting both uh, sort of uh, use cases, right? Where you have a lot of existing Terraform modules and just want to bring that into Kubernetes with QForm, that will be possible. The other one is, okay, you want to start with this uh, CRDs as a first class uh, citizen and be able to deploy like a bunch of, uh, you know, Kubernetes, it's not, not Kubernetes, non-Kubernetes resources, right? Like cloud resources. Let's say you want to create like a three VMs and then maybe deploy some kind of, I don't know, VPC rule and then set up this and that, all of that, especially if you are on AWS, it can get quite complicated. Like doing those, making those possible and have, you know, and making sure that those can kind of support this internal dependency, right? Like a, apply a fast CRD with custom resource, wait for that to kind of, you know, become ready and then get some data from that and do the next thing and things like that. Uh, so this sort of thing uh, will be, uh, you know, this is one of the kind of the main thing that uh, we've been working on. And and the question is like, why are we doing all of this, right? It is really, you know, part of the uh, whole uh, KubeDB user experience, right? Today, let's say when you are using KubeDB, uh, yes, the database piece that is kind of native to Kubernetes is automated, but you still have to kind of do a bunch of things manually, right? Like if you want to take a backup, you have to create a bucket, get a secret, you know, set up these things, all of that. And it's just a lot of things that needs to be done correctly, right? And, and our, you know, ultimate goal is to be able to just do all of that uh, automatically. So creating buckets, if you are like on AWS, making sure the proper VPCs are enabled or in opened and all that, whatever it is necessary, uh, firewall rules configured, you know, not just uh, on AWS, but other clouds, you know, if you are on-prem, all of that, uh, and, and that's kind of the way we are coming from uh, into this, uh, you know, the QForm project, right? Like, yeah, I think the thing that I was just talking about, like, you know, we want to make sure that you don't have to read a lot of documentation and the way to, one of the way to make users not have to read a lot of documentation is to just do it automatically, what is appropriate uh, and, and, you know, and expose those through any UI, right? So, so that's, that's why the QForm project is quite important to us and it will be part of that user experience. Obviously, if you are looking to just use uh, it to manage or monitor your database, uh, sorry, Kubernetes resources, uh, sorry, cloud resources through Kubernetes, right? Kind of like, a, you know, in, in, a, in a scope, it is similar to the cross-plane project. I think that primary difference between cross-plane and our project is that it is starting, uh, you know, with the Terraform providers as sort of the first class citizen, right? So if you have a lot of Terraform investment, which we do see from across our customer base, it will become possible to do it. Uh, so those are sort of the main things.